shop today, just like just getting a checkup for the bikes. This is the mirror that I have currently, and this is the mirror that I'm going to get. Hello. Matthew is taking us over to the other bike shop. Thank you, Matthew. Because this one's quite crowded today. I hope you've been liking these things. Oh man, I love it. A really great bike. This is all we came here for, really. a lot but every time that I bike on them by the end of it my butt just hurts because we bike for a very long time because the bikes are fun so I'm getting a different cushion which uh, should be a lot more functioning and comfortable so this is the new seat huh this should fix all my problems thank you man I really hope it does This is the Amigo Infinite Plus. I've had this bike for a couple months now. First of all, the battery lasts forever. The range is 20 to 60 miles, depending on power consumption. The thing is pretty lightweight and rides really well. And the modifications that I have to it currently are a nice side mirror and a very cushiony seat cushion, which you actually saw installed today. So the bike is sold as a street bike, but it does hold up beyond that. We've taken this thing all around Toronto off-roading on various trails and really sort of pushed the limits. I've gone off-road with this thing on dirt paths, grass, and it holds up. The one complaint I have about this bike, only one, is the fact that the tires are a little bit thin. So if you go off-roading, you're going to notice some bumps, but really the solve for that is just getting on the pedals instead of the seat. I found this bike especially useful for just getting out in like parks and stuff. Like, take a look. A car would not get me over here to enjoy this amazing scenery on such a lovely day in Toronto. This is less of a comprehensive review of the features of the bike and more so just saying, here's something that's super well built. An e-bike in general is an awesome idea. And uh, yeah, it's just a great excuse to get out and explore. And this is definitely the tool that I would pick to do that. The way this one works is it is pedal assist and so there is a throttle on it that you can simply use to trigger the motor but for the most part when I'm riding this thing it's on power six and I'm pedaling and so it does give you a sense of physical exertion but not to the point of exhaustion. If you're going uphill it's good because it's got eight speeds and if you're trying to weave through people and be safe you can very lightly use the throttle to sort of give you a consistent speed that is slow and enough to keep you balanced. So that's mainly what I use the throttle for. And like I said, I'm generally on power six, but it's got up to six different power levels depending on how fast you want to go or how much assistance you want in pedaling. As far as accessories go, this thing is highly recommended. I was using this on my way over for the first time and boy do I love it. I mean, this thing is a lifesaver. It's great. And this is super cool. So this, this helmet has a radio in it. So that's a speaker. That is a microphone. It's super comfy and very adjustable. And you use these buttons on the side to control the entire thing. So you press these two and it connects to your phone. And then it uses that to access a seven channel radio system that you can use with anybody else who's wearing this helmet. Hold this button and you can actually engage Siri. So you can make calls, answer calls, play music, and listen to FM radio through a certain setting using this. So these are super cool and almost essential when biking with friends because the enjoyment of a bike ride with somebody else is incredibly improved by having them in your head. So the entire time that I'm biking around, me and my dad were joking around 
we're joking, laughing, letting each other know if there's like some trouble up ahead that we need to avoid. And I don't know that there's a limit with this, so you can get like a whole group of friends together all wearing these helmets and have an incredible time biking around. I also got a phone mount, which is really helpful. If I quickly jump on a bike and I'm just in like jeans or something, I don't want the phone cutting into my leg. So that one's very useful. It's also useful if you're trying to use maps. So you can stop and look down and see if you're on the right path. And this is really cool. This is what the bag looks like. This thing is almost an essential for the bike. This allows you to pretty much carry anything you want. So I'll throw a water bottle in here. I'll throw an extra jacket in here. You can throw sandwiches in here and have a nice picnic, bike out to a park like this. So anyways, uh, this thing's great. If you're in the market for an electric bike, it is the Amigo Infinite Plus. And uh, yeah, now I'm just gonna bike around and have fun. Hope this was useful. <laughs> How trippy is this? I'm just randomly biking around, right? And guess where I am? Guess where I accidentally stumbled onto? In case you don't recognize the place, this is exactly where we shot the Mexican consulate in season two of the Umbrella Academy. I came over this wall like this. And then me, Lila, and Diego went over here. And then there was a car right here, so we snuck along here and then out through there. This is where Five gets suspicious of Lila, and Diego agrees she knows too much. And about a year ago, right where my bike is now, I shouted Greek at Hargreaves. <laughs> Anyways, it's quite a trip to be back here because I, I had no idea where I was biking and all of a sudden we ended up here. I did squats right there. I did like 40 squats, 40 push-ups over the course of like two takes at least or something just to sort of tire myself out because supposedly five had been in a fight so that I could stumble up authentically. I don't know, actors are weird. And so that's what I did. And I remember doing takes where I come around, yell at Hargreaves, all right, reset back to one. I'm waiting for them to reset. I'm trying to tire myself out. Action. I went for a walk in this park and over here, Diego, Lila and Five all walked up into the consulate. I remember I was stretching my legs before the take right there and right there. And we walked in there to a little party and it was a lovely, lovely location that, by chance, I stumbled on just biking right now. That's a nice little happy ending to the video. <laughs> by the way, I miss these vlogs quite a bit. Uh, it's not often, it's not often that I have a reason to get out of the house during the pandemic. And so I end up doing these conversation with videos that last a long time, but that I have time to at least edit and put out a video every week. And you know, I miss it. I miss it a lot. I miss getting out and doing things and then coming home and editing it. And I've learned a lot since I started doing it and I've got different gear and a different way of working. And so I wanna get out and start making new ones, but I just don't have the opportunity like I used to before the pandemic to do that sort of thing. But I don't know, I might find a video or two like this that allows me to get out of the house and do more of a vlog type style video. This is all a prelude to the videos that will be coming out following the last Gerard Way interview part that'll come out next week. Yeah, I, I won't spoil anything as of yet, but it should be lots of fun. I love it how like I'm, I'm putting a deadline on myself. Okay, this is the video that you're gonna release. I'm putting myself in a corner basically, because if I edit this and publish it, then I sort of have to stick to the fact that, hey, I said I was gonna do a vlog. It's not what you think, but it is exciting. It's tough to edit because, well, you'll see. I've said too much. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Have a great day. See you next week. Goodbye. Love you.
Pandurumai Nepimusa, Lutrapan Hosmalapola. That is ridiculous, but I'm glad I did that. That was fun. <laughs> <laughs>